Does X mark the spot and is Elon Musk Satoshi Nakamoto? Because Twitter has been rebranded to X and we're going to find out what does it mean and what could we expect? But we're also going to look at the chart of Bitcoin and the dollar currency index because yes, Bitcoin is still holding this major support at the 29,000 US dollar level. So could we expect that we're going to see a turnaround because yes, the dollar currency index is in this major resistance area. So are we finally going to see that the dollar currency index is going to form a lower high and that we could expect that we're going to see this dump all the way back down under the psychological 100 US dollar level. And if you want to find out if Elon Musk is Satoshi Nakamoto, Watch the video until the end, smash up the like button and subscribe and most importantly activate the bell so that you will stay up to date. Welcome back to B for Crypto and first of all I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. This really motivates me and helps also to push the algorithm. And before we're going to go over to the charts, we're going to look at the news that Elon Musk changed the name and the logo of Twitter to X. And as we can see, this has already been implemented on the Twitter page. We can see the logo. So guys, we're going to go over to this post because yes, X was initially created by Elon Musk to be a financial service app. Reading through its initial home screen, it basically sounds like a crypto wallet. And yes guys, this is very important because X was created in 2009 from Elon Musk. But if we go over to the next post, yes guys, Musk wrote the software for his first firms Zip2 and X.com which was actually specified in a peer-to-peer -peer payment. So yes, this sounds similar to Bitcoin. X.com's source code was written in C++ and referred to as monolithic so was Bitcoin. So what does monolithic mean? In comparison to application, a monolithic application are single tiered which means multiple components are combined into one large application. So this means Elon Musk is building a super app called X and also the payment system was monolithic and also Bitcoin. But let's go back to the post because we can see Satoshi wrote with double spaces after a long time. The same did Elon Musk. So could there be a connection that Elon Musk is also the creator of Bitcoin being Satoshi Nakamoto and that the last post of Satoshi Nakamoto saying that he's moving on to work on other things was SpaceX and X.com and maybe the whole idea to decentralize the whole financial system with Bitcoin and X marks the spot, so is X maybe Bitcoin and Elon Musk is Satoshi Nakamoto? Because if we go over to the next article, Twitter becomes X, the future of the everything app. Elon Musk announces the rebranding of Twitter into X over the weekend in a move to create an everything app with unlimited interactivity. Elon Musk announced the transformation of Twitter into X, an all-encompassing super app. Musk envisions X as a platform that will encompass social updates plus payments, banking and more. The Twitter CEO believes that X will be the hub of unlimited interactions and possibilities. So could this be just a major move of Satoshi Nakamoto inventing Bitcoin for the implementation in a super app which is decentral and that is eventually going to replace the whole financial system? Guys, this is just going to be a major speculation, but the move from Elon Musk is just giving us the indication that he's working on something very big and he's involved in crypto and he likes crypto. So maybe we're going to see the implementation of Bitcoin or crypto into Twitter or X, X.com. So yes, this would be a major step for the overall crypto industry and just imagine if we're going to get some major news that Bitcoin is incorporated in Twitter or X that we could see a massive pump towards upside. But guys, let's find out what is going to happen during this week because yes, in one day and seven hours, we're going to get the next FOMC meeting. So are we really going to get a rate hike or is Fetch around Paul going to come out with a major bullish news and they're still going to rate pause? This is going to determine the direction of the overall markets because if we go over to the charts, yes, Bitcoin is still in this major level of 28,900 US dollars. So could we expect that we're going to get this bounce from these regions? Guys, we have to look at the support and resistance and we can see that if we zoom out on the daily chart that we have a lot of support and resistance which is holding the price of Bitcoin in these levels of 29,100 US dollars at the moment. So yes guys, maybe we're going to see some sideways movement before we're going to get the decision from the Federal Reserve. But let's go on the lower time frames on the 4 hour chart 
So we saw this dump towards the downside and Bitcoin saw this consolidation. We didn't get this pump and this confirmation of this breakout towards the downside. So does this mean that we're going to see some consolidation in these eras before Bitcoin is going to do the next move? Yes, guys, it is really going to be important. What is the outcome from the FOMC meeting? And are we going to see a hawkish or a dovish behavior from the Federal Reserve? But if we go over to the dollar currency index, and yes, we can see that the dollar currency index formed this cup and handle formation. And we saw this breakout exactly from this neckline with a price target exactly the top of this major resistance round about the 101 US dollar level. And at the moment, we can see that the price movement of the dollar currency index is really getting into some major resistance. So could this be the dump that we're going to see before the FOMC meeting? And that we're going to get a small pump from the FOMC meeting and the outcome will really determine if we're going to see a bullish DXY or even a bearish DXY forming this lower high and dumping even lower and that we could expect this pump for Bitcoin coming all the way back up into this major range of 30,000 US dollars and ultimately going to come all the way up to this range high. So this is what we could expect in the next 24 hours. We could expect some major volatility. But guys, if we go over to the weekly chart, then we can see that Bitcoin saw this massive pump towards the upside. We had this consolidations, pump, consolidations and I believe that we are seeing this consolidation before a major move towards the upside reaching a price target of yes guys 36,000 US dollars so yes I would buy this dip maybe we're going to go a little bit lower but overall I think that we're going to get this bullish move after this FOMC meeting and that this is just a major fear in the markets and a consolidation before a major breakout towards the upside so if you want to buy Bitcoin on the spot market or trade it with a leverage guys go down in the video description below there you find access to my free telegram group and also links to my partners being Fairdesk, OKX, BitGet, RoboForex and also Binance. I use all of these apps. So guys, diversify your cryptocurrencies and buy the dip on these exchanges to get some major rebates and also some major deposit bonus. Guys, we see each other in the next video. Stay safe and be for crypto. Make sure to watch this video exactly now.